pirate care guide, tank size diet, and more. Overview The vampire Tetrahydrolycus scombroides is an astounding charison, yet it isn't your run of the mill tetra. One gander at the mouth of this fish, and there will be no uncertainty that the pyara is a horrible flesh eater. This mind blowing fish has two huge teeth on its lower jaw. These teeth can be four to six inches in length. Truth be told, the two primary lower teeth belong to such an extent that upper jaw has openings for them to fit into. The pyara, predominantly known as a game fish and a prize by angler for their battling capacity. This is an individual from the Cynodontidae family, which are called saber-tooth tigerfish dogtooth charisons, or dogteeth tetras. The Hydrolycus variety comprises of four species. All things considered, they are called Parandira or Pyara. Its regular names are Vampire the Tetra, Vampire Charison, Pyara Charison, and Saber-toothed Tigerfish. Pyara are quick and forceful feeders. These fish as a rule gulp down their prey however will at times slash them into littler, reduced down pieces. They get huge, as well, so in the event that you need to keep one as a pet, be set up to have a high feeder fish bill. Truth be told, it can develop to about double the size of its practically indistinguishable looking family member, the saber-toothed Charison Hydrolycus armatus. This fish can reach up to around 4 feet 117 centimeters long and weigh up to 40 pounds 18 kilograms. However aquarium examples are generally just arrive at a fourth of that size, around 12 inches. The vampire tetra can be kept in a huge aquarium, yet it takes a great deal of work by an exceptionally propelled specialist to achieve this. They are at times accessible and will promptly adjust to aquarium life, yet they are regularly brief. They regularly just get by for a half year to a year in imprisonment, with only a couple having been accounted for as satisfying two years. Their short life expectancy is expected, to a limited extent, to their eating regimen and their requirement for a top quality condition. Vampire Charison need a shifted diet, so simply taking care of them goldfish is insufficient. In some cases, Pyara decline to take care of. It appears that once they reach around 12 inches, they strangely pass on. A school of Pyara will require an amazingly huge aquarium. Youthful examples will freely school with their own sort, however grown-ups are insatiable predators and ought to be kept alone. Despite the fact that they school freely in the wild, they become less open-minded with a group. As they develop, they are bad network fish. In nature, the main part of their common food is the piranha. Pyara, likewise need ideal water conditions in imprisonment. In the wild, these fish have various situations contingent upon their age. More youthful fish will dodge regions where there is solid water stream, yet develop examples will move into waters with quicker ebbs and flows. Giving Pyara these various situations as they age, just as a wide assortment of prey, takes the correct kind of devoted specialist. Category Rating Aquarist Experience Level Advanced Temperament Large Aggressive Predatory Lifespan 2 years Size 46.6 inches 118.36 cm diet carnivore Minimum tank size 500 gallons 1893 L Compatibility Fish same size as anything smaller will get 8 Habitat Distribution Background the Pyara hydrolycus scombroides was portrayed by Cuvier in 1819. The species isn't recorded on the IUCN Red List. Other normal names for this species are Vampire the Tetra, Vampire Charison, Vampire Fish Kishora, and Shambira. The variety, which comprises of four species, is all in all known as Parandira or Pyara. As individuals from the Cynodontidae family, they are known as saber-toothed tigerfish, dogtooth charison, or dogteeth tetra. Pyara are found in South America in the Rio Amazonas and its tributaries over the mouth of Rio Tapajos also as in the Orinoco River in Venezuela. They occupy spotless quick-streaming waterways where the water is fierce, including rapids and at the base of cascades. 
They are frequently found in free gatherings and feed on littler fish, yet the greater part of their eating routine comprises of piranhas. 1. Scientific name, Hydrolycus scombroides. 2. Social grouping, groups, found in loose groups. 3. IUCN red list, NE, not evaluated or not listed. Description. The Piara can reach up to right around 4 feet 117 centimeters long and weigh a little more than 39 pounds 17.8 kilograms in nature. In bondage, it is probably not going to reach more than around 12 inches 75 centimeters. Its body is a glowing silver, and its blades are semi-straightforward, tinged with dark towards the external parts, and at times spotted with white. The Payara's elongated body is smoothed out and incredible. It tightens towards the tail and has a huge, fan-molded caudal balance. The head is enormous with a conspicuous, improved mouth loaded with needle-sharp teeth and two long teeth. The two fundamental lower teeth are so long that the upper jaw has holes for them to fit into. These teeth can be four to six inches long. The Piara is practically indistinguishable in appearance to its nearby relative the saber-toothed Charison Hydrolycus armatus, yet the Piara is twice as enormous. The Piara can likewise be recognized from its cousin by a little roundabout dull spot on its gill spread. While a similar stamping on H. Almatis is to a greater extent a bar shape. 1. Size of fish inches 46.6 inches 118.36 centimeters these fish get up to almost 4 feet 117 centimeters in length and weigh just over 39 pounds 17.8 kilograms in the wild but they will usually only reach about 12 inches 75 centimeters in captivity 2. Lifespan, 2 years they often only live 6 months to a year, with just a few having been reported as living up to 2 years. Fish keeping difficulty. Pyara are very hard to keep. These enormous predaceous fish are best thought about in open aquariums or by the most experienced fish attendants with the space, monetary capacity, and commitment to think about them. They in some cases deny food in bondage, and once taken care of, need a fluctuated diet of fish. These fish regularly just get by for a half year to a year, with only a couple having been accounted for as satisfying two years. Their short life expectancy might be an after effect of a huge bioload, bringing about nitrogenous waste. An amazingly enormous aquarium is important to help a school of Pyara, and as they develop their natural surroundings, prerequisites change. Adolescents may live in less violent water, however grown-ups are found in quick-moving flows, similar to rapids and the base of cascades. Aquarium hardiness difficult. This fish will in general have an amazingly short life expectancy in their home aquarium, for the most part between a half year and a year. These fish are wild gotten, so they require unmistakable and very much kept up water parameters. A packed tank appears to abbreviate their life expectancy essentially. Aquarest experience level advanced. The aquarist must keep up a huge tank in unblemished condition to think about this requesting a costly fish. Nourishments and feeding. Pyara are flesh eating piscivores. They just eat live nourishments, and they love fish, ideally live ones. Fitting aquarium charge incorporates live nourishments, for example, feed of fish worms and stream shrimps. These fish could most likely be prepared to eat entire dead fish, for example, solidified silversides and lancefish, yet this has not been affirmed. Diet type, carnivore, chip food, no, tablet pellet, no. Live nourishments, angles, shrimps, worms, most of diet. These fish need a shifted diet of various sorts of fish to give the vital supplements. Substantial food, all of diet. Taking care of frequency, several feedings for every day. Aquarium care. Vampire tetras are large chaotic fish that need immaculate, very much oxygenated water and amazingly high filtration. Aquariums are shut frameworks, and paying little heed to measure, all need some upkeep. 
Similarly as with most ruthless species, these fish produce a great deal of waste, so an exceptionally effective channel is required. After some time, deteriorating natural issue, nitrates, and phosphate develop and water hardness increments because of dissipation. To battle these ever-evolving conditions, water ought to be supplanted all the time. Week after week water changes of 30 to half are suggested. Water changes weekly, there are 30 to half water change each week. Aquarium setup. The Pyara is a very enormous ruthless fish. Due to their enormous grown-up size, and their affinity for tutoring as adolescents, they need an extremely huge aquarium. At the point when previously bought as little adolescents, they may at first be kept in an enormous home aquarium. Yet, in the long run, be set up to put resources into a tank of 500 gallons or more with a superior than normal channel framework. They require a standing water quality, and it must be very much oxygenated. More youthful examples might approve of moderate water development, however grown-ups need solid, fierce flows. Vampire charisons will for the most part involve the center of the tank and need heaps of open space for quick swimming. The stylistic theme ought to be insignificant, yet can have some low driftwood type caverns for retreat. The aquarium additionally needs a tight fitting top. Despite the fact that they are not so much jumpers, they have exceptionally evolved pectoral balances to help in fast quest for prey, and they may shoot out of the water. They are handily startled so you should be mindful so as not to make a snappy develop they tank. Pyara have been known to lethally harm themselves by swimming into the sides of the aquarium when upset. It assists with covering the sides and back of the tank with either a dim aquarium foundation or paint them with a dim shading. An excessively splendid light will likewise worry them, so keep the lighting direct and have a few zones that are diminish. An increasingly repressed lighting combined with a dull scenery will draw out their best shading as well. Least tank size, 500 lady, 1893L, appropriate for nano, tank, no. Substrate type, any. Lighting needs, moderate, typical lighting, moderate lighting with some diminished zones in the tank is ideal. Temperature, 75.0 to 82.0 degrees Fahrenheit, 23.9 to 27.8 degrees Celsius. Hardness range 2 to 25 dgh. Saline, no. Water movement, strong. Juveniles may live in less violent water, however grown-ups are found in quick-moving flows, similar to rapids and the base of cascades. Water region, middle. These fish will swim close to the center of the tank. Social behaviors. In the wild, Pyara are frequently found in gatherings, yet in bondage, they will in general become antagonistic towards their own species when kept in little gatherings. They can be kept in a school of at least six of every in extremely huge space or independently. These fish can be forceful and have been known to assault fish that were unreasonably huge for them to eat. Other exceptionally enormous fish may get by with them, for example, a protected catfish with a quiet aura, yet they are best kept separately. Remember that when kept separately, they can get apprehensive, swimming hysterically and in any event, harming themselves, particularly if there is any brisk development around the tank. This fish won't endure in the event that it feels swarmed, so despite the fact that other enormous fish, for example, a patchy or huge catfish, will most likely have the option to get by in a similar tank. The Pyara will improve whenever kept in a solitary animal varieties, single example tank. Venomous, no. Demeanor, large aggressive predatory. This fish does best in an animal group's tank as it will commonly be forceful towards tank mates and doesn't live long in packed situations. It ought to be kept either independently or in a little gathering in an enormous tank to diminish animosity. Perfect with, same species, conspecifics, yes, Pyara will swim in schools of at least six out of an extremely be enormous space. Tranquil fish, threat. Semi-aggressive, threat. Forceful, threat. Enormous semi-aggressive, threat. Enormous aggressive predatory, monitor. Slow swimmers and eaters, threat.
Shrimps, crabs, snails, safe, not forceful. Plants, safe. Sex, rearing, reproduction. The vampire tetra has never been reproduced in imprisonment. Very little is thought about the romance and bringing forth practices of the Hydrolycus species. Notwithstanding, the Pyara are transitory fish and start proliferation with the beginning of the stormy season. They move from lakes and waterway channels into the rising waters of enormous streams, moving significant distances upstream for bringing forth and taking care of. Apparently, it is hard to outlandish variety them in an aquarium and would require an enormous tank. For a portrayal of rearing charison fish, see breeding freshwater fish, charisons. Simplicity of breeding, unknown, this fish has never been reproduced in imprisonment. Fish diseases. The pyara is a huge troublesome fish to keep. The greatest worries with the pyara are absence of room and food, and giving perfect water that is profoundly oxygenated. Regardless of whether these necessities are met, pyara bafflingly don't endure long in bondage. They regularly live just for a half year to a year, with just a couple of reports of keeping them for as long as two years. These fish are tough and malady isn't generally an issue in an all-around looked-after aquarium. That being stated, there is no assurance that you won't need to manage medical issues or illness. Anything you add to your tank can present ailment. Other fish as well as plants, substrate, and designs can harbor microscopic organisms. Take incredible consideration and make a point to appropriately spotless or isolate whatever you add to a built-up tank so as not to disturb the equalization. Since these fish eat live nourishments, sicknesses can be passed to them from their nourishments. Make a point to isolate live food before taking care of. A flare-up of infection can frequently be restricted to only one or a couple of fishes whenever managed at a beginning time. When keeping progressively touchy sorts of fish, it is basic for all fishes to be tainted even before the main notice signs can be taken note. The most ideal approach to proactively forestall malady is to give your fish the best possible condition and an even eating routine. The more intently their condition looks like their regular living space, the less pressure the fish will have, making them more beneficial and more joyful. A focused on fish is bound to gain sickness. Likewise with most fish, vampire tetras are inclined to skin accidents, parasitic pervasions, protozoic worms, and so forth, ichthyobodo contamination, parasitic invasions, protozoic worms, and so on, bacterial diseases, and bacterial sickness. Aquarists should look into basic tank infections. Knowing the signs and getting and treating them early has a gigantic effect. For data about freshwater fish ailments and sicknesses, see Aquarium Fish Diseases and Treatments. Accessibility. Pyara or Vampire Charison are not actually uncommon, yet littler, aquarium-sized examples are elusive. When delivered from South America, they occupy a ton of room, which makes transporting costs high. In the event that you are sufficiently fortunate to discover one available to be purchased, the cost will be high before you buy this species. Make certain to check with the fish and game department or other ecological experts in your general vicinity to be sure that you can keep one of these fish. In specific states, similar to Texas, they are restricted from open and or private belonging. In all likelihood, this is because of worries that individuals may accidentally discharge them into local waters.